Hello, hello, hello. Who's ready to learn how to fly in Minecraft? I know I am. So let's do this. That's right, we have our grubby little hands on an elytra. An elytra, I'm not sure how to say it. We got wings, which means we're going to be able to fly in Minecraft. Uh, I need to do a few things before I get that going, though. But um, first up, hey, how you doing? Hope you're um, having a good day so far, because my day is about to get 10 times better. So what I need to do first is make an end chest, which we don't currently have. Not an ender chest, an actual end chest. A normal chest full of endy things. So let's quickly do that. Oh, we got some more ender chests as well. That's actually pretty good. Let's put those in there. Obsidian's gonna pop in here, which we stole from the end city last time. And I guess we could put this up here. I did not mean to do that. That was a terrible idea. Now everything is gonna explode out of it. Is that gonna happen? Okay, we're safe. Never mind. I need to make a trapped chest then. Trip wire hook, anyone? Anyone know where there is a trip wire hook? Let's just make one instead. Trip wire hook. There we go, got two of them. Then we make a trapped chest. And that should not link to the other one. Sweet. Okay, right, let's put all of the stuff that's from the end in this chest. Because we went on a crazy expedition last time. And if you didn't see it, definitely go and check it out. We conquered the end. I'm pretty sure we did everything. Did we do everything in the end? I'm pretty sure we did. Apart from beat the ender dragon again. But we don't really do that just now. We will do it. But not just yet. Let's crack these into here. End rods. I forgot we had loads of those. Let's put those in there as well. Now, the first thing on our agenda is to make uh, or buy an a mending book. Because I need a mending book to put on the elytra, elytra, whatever you want to call it. Zewings. Wait, how many emeralds is it? Is it one or is it a little bit more? I'm not too sure. I've got thorns and sharpness. Let's go and check because we've got our little villages below the surface, which should be housing a little mending book. But the reason you want to do this is... It's because every time you use the Elytra, I think, you it takes some durability. You can either repair it with phantom membranes, which is not too bad. You can just farm phantoms for not sleeping for three days. Or you can just put mending on it. It's perfect. That's thorns. Silk touch. Mending. Ten emeralds? Bro, I've already got nine. Can you do me a sweet deal? Come on. I saved you from becoming a zombie and dying. That should be at least worth something, right? Nope. Never mind. Okay, I'm off to get some paper. I'm doing the classic. I need me some emeralds. Can't believe I'm doing this. I've run out of emeralds. I've run out of goods. I need to somehow make unlimited emeralds. There must be a trade that you can get that makes that possible. It's got to be one like this, to be honest. Let's just do this. A quick run through. Grab all the paper. Grab some emeralds. And then we can grab the mending. I forgot I took out some of this sugar cane as well. That's not good. Oh, I've just realized I could do this faster because I've got uh, the speed boost. I didn't realize that. That's so much better better. This should be enough, definitely. Oh, and I'm running out of food. I've got a couple of ideas to kind of solve my food crisis. One of them is uh, fixing the farm up here. And I also want to make it automated so that it goes to one place, which I should be able to do. Now I've got pretty much unlimited hoppers. Uh, let's go and use a crafting... Have I got... I haven't got a crafting table on me. Okay, let's go. Let's make paper. And then we are going to trade all of this into sweet, sweet coin. Is my librarian on this floor? Hello, sir. Haven't seen you in a while. Here you go. Take all my papers. I haven't given you paper in a while, but I can trade my paper for your paper for my kind of paper. You know what I mean? Give me the paper back. Nice doing business with you again, sir. You're going to aid me. It's my goal of ultimate infinite flight. This is the mending man right here. Ten in a book. Mending. Thank you, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. Hope you're not getting too lonely or hungry in here. I haven't fed them in years. <laughs> right, time to sleep. Let's... Oh, I was just about to say, I hope I have enough levels, but completely forgot that I've got a whole stack of them. So let's put the elytra in here. Mend these bad boys up. Oh my goodness, what do we want to call these? How about just wings with a Z? That's cool, right? My goodness, that's so cringe, right? <laughs> let's just go sleep. Come on, go sleep. Sleep! There we go, better. Hey, kitty, how you doing? Hopefully not plotting to kill me in this episode, which is something that could happen, by the way. Elytra is uh, is risky business, because if you hit the ground too hard, you're going to straight up die. So it's good that we've got water around, and I think I want to change this top bit into just a helipad made of water. Oh, I don't even know if that's even a risk worth taking. Just having, like, for example, this full with water, so you can just dive bomb into it. I don't know if that's going to work or whether that will actually kill us. And I don't want to try it out because if it goes wrong, I'm dead. Actually, we might be able to. We could totem of undying it. That would be good, actually. Right, let's try these bad boys on now. They've got mending. How am I looking? Pretty savage. 
I think these changed your cape, actually. So let me bust out some of my Minecon capes. I'm going to flex on you guys. One second. <laughs> so I have two capes. I have the Minecon 2013 and the Minecon 2015. Now, I think the Elytra takes on the texture of your cape. So I'm going to try that right now. Bam. This is the piston one. That's what it looks like normally. This is what it looks like with the Elytra. Not quite sure what happened there. Um, they kind of like cocoa beans. How is that possible? All right, let's try the next one. <laughs> that one looks awful. This is probably the cape that I've repped for the longest, just because I think the iron golems look cool. And it's a salute and a tribute to protect and attack. Probably your guys' favorite characters that unfortunately left us very early on in this series. But let's see what it looks like as this. Oh, that looks weird. That looks really weird. Um, they both look incredibly strange. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of just like the way they look normally. But for now, because I don't want to close my game again, this is the look that we're going for. Looks weird to me, guys. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but um, leave a comment. Comment section down below with uh, what you think looks best. Now, should we do a quick test flight off of here? Because I need to test this out so I can get the technique down. I also want to try and uh, recreate this that we've made over here. Because that could be a good way to launch us in the air. But I want to make it somewhere else. And then we also need fireworks. Because fireworks are going to allow us to fly infinitely. Because without the fireworks, you just kind of glide. I think we're going to try this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at me go. Straight into the water. <laughs> Safe as can be. These don't look too bad when they're apart. It just looks really weird when it's together. But there we go. Our first flight in Minecraft. And it only cost us three levels to put mending on. That's amazing. Yeah, look. The durability goes down. We'll just have to remember to repair them with experience when we get the chance. Let's do that again. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Just remember, there is a way to glide much more fluently than this, but I'm so scared about landing and killing myself that I don't want to get too fast. Right. Next thing we need to do is fireworks. That's what we want to try out. And then we want some water as well to test out the helicopter pad at the top. We should probably call it the elytra pad, actually. And I kind of want to put it here. So let's uh, bring these up real quick. So we don't need those. Thank you very much. The beacons are going to be a problem. Not going to lie. I'm thinking about moving them anyway. Oh, yeah. We got all this nonsense too. I completely forgot about this. Uh, let's grab these. All of this stuff. We need to grind off those enchantments. They're not really useful to us any other time, really. I could have just grabbed the emeralds from here. I've just realized I'm an idiot. Right, what else do we need to do? Um, let's put the gold in here. Uh, let's put away some of the other stuff as well. Oh, I need food so badly. I don't think he's producing any carrots anymore because he's, he's messed up. He started planting wheat and things. Uh, he's put wheat there. Can I hopper this out? I want to try that because I feel like he's putting wheat into the composter. And then we can turn that into a wheat farm and then change it to a carrot farm, a different one. Let's grab a hopper. One, two, three, four, five. Let's grab one of these. And let's see if we can actually grab stuff out of the composter. Because I have no idea right now. Look at me lazy crafting. I'm such a noob. Because I feel like he puts it in there. He kind of keeps going backwards to it. He looks kind of full at the moment, though. He's trying to pick it up, but it ain't working. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's put this... I think it's under here. Or is it? No, there's water under there. Yeah, that's not going to work. I could put the hopper there really quickly. Should I try it? But then that's still going to be water underneath, isn't it? Because the water needs to keep the, the farm alive. Hmm, there must be a way I can do this. You know what? I'm going to try it. I've got a water bucket on me. Let me just grab this. It's going to flood everything, but it's going to be okay. We're just going to need to catch it real quick, okay? Do this and that. Then we need to do this. Okay, that definitely does not work. Okay, never mind. It's just all lost forever. Now we need to refix this farm. Otherwise, everything is going to die and it's all going to be my fault. Let's do this, this, and this. There we go. Professional. Nothing was destroyed. So I need to find out a way to fix that. There must be a way to get him to throw wheat at people, but I don't know how. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I need me some fireworks, which means I need gunpowder. Luckily, I have quite a lot of it. I don't want to use all of it, but I do need paper, actually. Um, it's got so much paper, it's unreal. I could make a lot of fireworks with this. Wait, how do you make fireworks? How is that not in here? Why is this not in the cr the crafting recipe, huh? What's going on? Fine, I'll just make them manually. 
This is gonna be a lot of fireworks though. Dude, they're so cheap. I've already got like a stack of them. They're really cheap. Oh, I'm pleased. Okay, so I was worried I was gonna have to make a creeper farm. I don't think I'm gonna need to, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna need to do that just yet. So now what we can do is we can fly literally anywhere. So let's go up to the top to the roof and then fly around to our heart's content. This is gonna be amazing. I think you need to put them in your offhand though. So if I do like this and then if we die, I don't even know if I wanna test it because I don't know if the Elytra cancels it or makes it go funky because I learned the other day that you don't actually have to be holding the totem in your offhand for it to work. It just needs to be in your main hand. But let's try this, fly. Oh, that's proper flying. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We could travel so far now. We need a turtle. We need to go to our other farms in the ocean that don't actually work. We could just fly there now. Oh, man. I'm going up. This is so good. Look at my world from up here. It actually looks kind of cool. Oh, man. This is great. But yeah, we definitely need some kind of like firework farm, maybe. It's going to take a lot of rockets. I've almost already used 10 of them, which is kind of crazy. Look at this. Dude, we're flying. We were flying in Minecraft. Look how serious my Minecraft guy is. Look at his face. <laughs> right, let's be careful not to die here. Although I do think holding a totem will be fine. I'm pretty sure. And I also want to test out the old flying into water trick if I just dive bomb it. But I'm also nervous about that. I'm going pretty fast right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's not so bad. Oh, I think it works. I did a cheeky test then. I think it's, it's going to work. And we can kind of do like jump off here. Yes. I'm getting it into the water, my friends. Let's go. That was a little risky, but it seems to work. This is good. Unnamed doggo, let's go. Oh, I'm so pleased. We can fly in Minecraft. We've made it. Someone get the camera. Quick, I've made it. All right, let's do a quick sleepy bo pee pee. And let's try and convert the top of... Yeah, let's convert the top of the castle. We're going to convert it into an Elytra landing pad. Not quite sure how we're going to do it yet because we've got the beacons in the way. But I think we can do it. Hello? Can I sleep, please? Please let me sleep. We, there we go. Jeez. Having some trouble sleeping today. All right, let's think of a design. So I need an E, basically. I need to map out an E. Let me grab some just like trashy blocks and then I can test it out. So what the elytra is also going to be really handy for is finding other biomes because we currently only have, we have nine to go still, which is actually crazy. But this is going to allow us to find even more of them. All right, we need to make an E. Oh, it's going to go over my... um. Yeah, that's annoying. It'd be in the floor, but it'd be glass. Dude, that's gonna be so annoying. I have jump boost all the time when I'm in here anyway, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Now my jump boost has just left me. But I think it could work. I think we're gonna be able to do this. So I also wanna have water on it, so I do need a trapdoor as well. So I need to test that out too. So wherever we have this, for example, here, and then we block off this bit. There we go. And then we put water over the top. We should be... What just happened? What? Where is... What was that about? I'm not pleased about that. What if I open this? Does it go down into the... Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to do that then. But I need to find a much more efficient way to get in because this just ain't cutting it. Luckily, I can fly now. So I can fly all the way back up to the top. There we go. Absolutely bossed it. I'm going to go into 3D mode, third person even, every time because I do not want to, like, misinterpret how fast I'm going. That would be awful. I'm going to hold my totem as well, just in case. Oh, jeez. Oh, did you see that? That was awesome. Okay, this can work. This can actually work. All right, I'm definitely going to have to redesign this, aren't I? I'm going to have to rethink it. So I can jump up from here. So I guess that's fine. So I can go hop and jump up. So if I put a trap door right up here, then I can open that, jump up, lock it again, and no water will come through, which is perfect. So we jump over this anyway because I've scuffed it. Then we open it, jump, and close it. Sweet. I might put it on the other wall, though. So let's put it here. Yeah, that's much better. 
I did not mean to do that. <laughs> that was awkward. The E is going to have to come in this way and then down here. See, I make it with slabs at the moment. So I wonder if it's going to look weird with actual blocks. And the E stands for Elytra. Just in case you guys were wondering. Stands for... Oh, jeez. I had it in the middle a moment ago. How did I ruin the E? One does not just ruin the E. I literally did it a moment ago. What? Guys, I'm so confused. Pussycats. I have no idea what's going on. So this all needs to be filled in with something. And I think I'm going to change this material as well. I don't think we can do end slabs. End stone bricks is literally as far as you can go. Yeah, you really can't. You can't do slabs. Uh, not end stone ones anyway. This one needs to be glass. I think I'm going to have to do it in glass. Purple glass. We could do purple glass. We made that in the last video, right? A couple videos ago. We have purple stained glass. Nice. I think I might need to make some more though, because seven ain't going to be enough. Right. Bam, bam, bam. So yeah, that's going to turn that pink, which I really don't like. It looks weird. For now, it's going to be... <laughs> I keep... I'm celebrating myself eating bread. I need these. Let's not waste them. Now I'm going to replace this with end stone, just because I want it to look super cool. And you know me. I know how to do super cool. I think we're going to have to redesign my beacons. I might have to put them just behind the castle. I know. It's breaking my heart too. I wish it worked out, but we need this Elytra landing pad. We have five end stone. Ah! That's all we have? Five end stone. You know what? Let's just see if it looks good. Oh, I turned them into end stone bricks somehow. I've ended with five end stone. That's actually insane. Oh my goodness. Is it worth going back to the end just for end stone? Or is that just a little bit crazy? I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Woo! Okay, that was a bit crazy. Can we fly in? We must be able to fly in the nether, right? That's kind of crazy. Back at it again with the end. Um, I need to go this way. I need to make a much better way to get to my end portal because this ain't cutting it. This is too long. Here we go. I found the portal. I actually know it kind of by heart now, which is crazy, considering the nether all looks the same. So we go through here. Oh, I'm going to take that. Thank you. I'll take that back. Don't mind if I do. Then we're going to plop into the end real fast. Never thought I'd be able to say that. Just chilling. Just go into the end. And then I'm going to put on my Alitra rings just in case I fall. Because now the one worry about coming to the end was that it was going to be dangerous if I go into the void. Now it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter matter at all. I can fall into the void and as long as I've got fireworks, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm golden. Don't worry, buddy. I am taking your house. You've got plenty of end stone to go around. Don't be coming at me with that. We've got end stone shortages nonsense. I don't believe it for a second. Have we got enough? What we got? What we got? What we got? 64 and a half. Okay, that's good enough for me. I've just realized we got a lot of obsidian now as well. If we just mine all... Oh, geez. No, I didn't mean it. Stop. Get away from me. No, do not kill me. Do not kill me, you little punk. I'm running away. I'm going to run through the end portal. Stop chasing me. Stop it. You want my wings, don't you? You cannot touch them. I'm out of here. I've got everything wrong in my inventory, so I'm out. See you later, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's going to be mad at me forever. I have to remember that next time I go to the, the end, that man's got my name. He wants me dead. Okay, now we can fill this in. That's going to be fine. But I do need to think this beacon situation. I think I'm just going to remove the beacons from here. It just looks a mess, to be honest. So I think I'm going to remove the beacons after I've done this. I'm going to fill the bottom of this in with oak wood planks. So it doesn't look so weird when we're inside the house. But it will look awesome when we come in to land. Let's block, regrettably, this one off as well. There we go. That is our platform. Sweet. Now I just need to fill it with water and make sure it goes flat. And probably change that to a birch trapdoor as well. Oh, this is a problem too. This is... Oh, no. This is a terrible idea. I feel so slow now. My goodness. I have got birch. Right, let's make a birch trapdoor. How do I make one of these? There we go. Birch trapdoors. Perfect. Need to grab some more water as well. So let's grab some more of that. Let's put some of this glass back. We've got way too much stuff on us right now. It's crazy how slow I feel because I've got so used to having the speed. I just want to make this as flat as possible. And then we need to go up. There we go. Okay, it takes a little bit of practice. You saw so high in the air just from one of these things. I'm a little worried that this just isn't going to work. It's going to be way too fast. Let me hold. Where's my totem just in case? I'm holding the totem. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. I really do. 
But as well, it's not going to be that easy to get down from, is it? So is there a way that we can make it go everywhere apart from there without it looking stupid? Not going to lie to you guys. This isn't looking as good as I thought it would. And I think you can tell by the look on my face. I'm disappointed. Because what you're going to have to do is just come down here. I need to move that anyway, actually. So let's do a quick switcheroo. And this is where we're going to be entering in. So we open this. Jump up and we're good. Actually, I don't need to I don't need to do that, do I? Because I never need to jump up to here. The only reason I need to jump up to here is literally for the intros. That's the only reason. And I could just fly up here instead. So maybe I don't need that at all. Right, let's just try and make it flat and see what happens. I want to try this. Making flat water in Minecraft is honestly one of my least favorite things in Minecraft ever. It is obnoxious. It's so annoying. 12 buckets of water, and I still haven't done it. Look at this, though. My pride and joy. My mini ender dragon. Looking phenomenal. Let's hold the totem and see if we can just plop. We can! Oh, dude, that was scary. But I did it at the same time. And now this is flat. Got some weird glitches in the corner, which I don't really mind. But that is our Elytra thing completely done. I just need to move the beacons to places that just look nicer. Which means we're going to need a lot more iron blocks because we can't just fuse them together. But where should I put them? I could put them around the castle. So I can just have them beaming up each side of the castle. Like maybe here... And then have one every corner. I think that might look quite good. But it's going to be a pain in my butt to have to do that. Yeah, look at these. Look, the wings with a Z are already pretty damaged. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to move these beacons, which is not going to be a fun job at all. But this is my Elytra landing pad. I'm going to land here. And then I, I do need to get down somehow, don't I? I could just fall down here but is that really efficient i could put a slime block here maybe so i can land on it softly maybe i should do that let's give it a go why are you guys all standing up huh they're plotting against me they're doing it it's happening right now all right let's chop this and then do this so now i get up here i'm gonna fly off okay that worked that worked well <laughs> gonna fly off Gonna hold my totem so we can test out this um undying nonsense i'm just gonna go straight down I'm going straight in. Oh, it works. That's so perfect. I was worried. So if we get rid of this and replace it with end stone, all we need to do is jump off here onto that. Hold shift and we're good. Okay. That seems to work. Don't mind if I do. Whoa. Okay, I almost crashed. I'm not going to lie. I did almost crash then. Oh my goodness. I'm almost crashing. I'm almost crashing. I didn't have my totem out either. Dude, I am a absolute danger to myself. I always have to have my totem out. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. So we do this. Jump over the edge and then shift. I mean, we take a little bit of damage. So the slime block isn't really worth it. There's got to be a, a better way to work that out, right? There must be. And then I do have the trap door. But to be honest, I'm never going to use it like ever. Could any of you guys think of a better way to get down? Because I feel like having this equal is much better than just having nothing. I'm having second thoughts about the glass. Because I don't need it to be glass now, I feel like I want it to be sea lanterns. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because then at nighttime, it will glow. I need ten sea lanterns. All I'm doing is popping off fireworks. I need ten sea lanterns, please. Then I need to move on my beacons. Oh, this is rough. Oh, yeah. Right, we've got ten of these. Perfect. Right, this is going to flood my house. I'm not sure I'm ready for this, but it is going to flood the house. Sea lanterns everywhere. Oh, my goodness, my cats have come up. I thought cats didn't like water. What are you doing? Buddy, can you calm down? You're one of the ones who wants to kill me, aren't you? Okay, please just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to say to you. Um, what looks better? Does that look better? I think that's going to look better from above. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Yeah, that looks much better from above. Not going to lie to you guys. Woo! I feel like a stuntman. I actually feel like a stuntman. Right, you can be watcher of the tower, okay? How's my house looking inside? Did anything break? Are you guys safe? I know cats don't like water, so I hope you guys are safe. Okay, everyone looks fine. Nothing went too wrong. Oh, my jump boost is gone. Gonna use a little Minecraft trick here. There we go. Just gonna grab this stuff. Okay, we're good. All right, so next job of the day is... Let's make a shulker box just to say that we've actually done it. Let's see how we make them. So it is just a chest in the middle. You can dye them different colors, though. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam. Shulker box done. So how do you dye these? 
different colors. And these basically work like backpacks. So what if we run in like a light blue one? We don't need silt touch, I don't think. I think these just pop. Yeah, so much better. Right, let's pop this in here with a light blue. Oh, that's an amazing color. Look at the color of that. That's sick. Look at it. Dude, love that. Right, okay. We now have shulker boxes to show off. Kitty cat, what do you think? You wish your eyes were this color, don't you? I don't even know what to keep in that, but shulker boxes are fantastic. I might keep that on me just to use as a backpack. Right, next job. Move beacons, which is going to be a horrible job. I want it to be... Here. This is where I want it to be. Oh, man. I knew this was going to happen. It's going to have to go right through here. It's going to have to happen. So this is where I need it to be. Right there. So if I grab one of these. Oh, the haste is gone. It's so painful. Give me this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't think this through. Whose idea was it to put sand up the top anyway? Idiot. I'll fix this later. I promise, okay? I promise I'll fix it. Oh, I just got rid of where I needed it to be. Oh, no, you doofus. Okay, it's right here. So I need it to be on the same level as this. Grab block of iron, block of iron, and then it can go on there. I'm pretty sure that is going to work. Bam. That is not the right height. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so this is not the most efficient way to do it because obviously you are not getting most of the use out of your iron and stuff. But I think for what I need, this is going to work. It's, it's painful to do, but I'm going to have to do it. I need haste straight away if I'm going to be shelling this out. Okay, that is now active. We zoom in, guys. So yeah, that's going to go up that side. And then we're going to do it again on the other sides too. Actually, let me just move them. Let me just move them now, and then we can do the full works later. So I want it to be just on the corner of the stone. So right here. And we do need to cover these back up because baby zombies like to get through here, which is the bane of my life. And I don't want my turtles dying at all. And this one's going to go like this. And this one should now be active. The only thing is, we're going to need a fourth beacon desperately. Are they in line? They better be in line. They certainly are. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay, we're going to do one more. And then we're going to need to collect a third beacon. And I guess that means I need to show you guys how to kill the wither with just an end portal. It's going to be phenomenal work. Why are you guys even here? Excuse me. I need to get through. Don't mind me. I don't think you can actually get down here, so never mind. All right, last beacon. It's so weird not being able to jump and have the speed that I normally do. It feels really slow, but this is how you normally play Minecraft, you noobs. And then we're going to have to deconstruct all this and make sure all the pyramids kind of line up. But I think that should be... I think that should be three of them done. I just need one more. I completely forgot that I would need another one for this to work. But that means we need to go with a skull hunting. And I ain't feeling like doing that today. I'll do that off camera because I've done that so many times. Incredible llama. Look at it. That's so much better. Okay, this is going to be good. And they're all in the vicinity of each other. When we have four of them as well, this is going to look awesome. And we can choose different colors. I'm thinking blue like this. What do you think, Unnamed Doggo? You enjoying it? Good. All right, let's take a look at it from up high. Because that's what we do now. I do need my undying totem just in case. Yeah, that looks so much better. Look at it. Oh, and I've done my Elytra landing pad as well. We learned to fly today, guys. And we also learned to land, which is possibly even more important. Oh, I've just realized as well, it's raining now. It's raining in my room. Um, I said I was going to slab this off, which I haven't done yet, but I will do it because I don't want to get wet. My bed is soggy. It's gross. All right. Let me check that no baby zombies have got in. I think we're good. I never fixed this either. Crazy. All right. Let's do this. Okay. So I've been doing this for a little bit and I'm almost done. But look how much... This is taken from me in iron. It has literally destroyed my entire iron collection, and I'm still not done. It shows just how inefficient this is. And maybe this is a terrible idea for me doing this because it's taken so much extra iron. It's basically taken me three times the amount of iron as before. Because before, I didn't even have three pyramids. I had three pyramids mixed together. Now, there's three completely separate pyramids which all take an insane amount of iron. I'm this much short, and that iron farm has been running for a ridiculous amount of time. Look at all this iron! This, I still need one more as well. It's crazy. But I've got my jump boost. I've got my haste back because these two are now maxed out, which is great. But I'm almost done. 
I need it to actually have something of worth. Uh, I need to choose what I need to do for the fourth beacon as well. But today wasn't really about those. Uh, it kind of was about learning to fly, which I think we have actually done. It's looking good. I built the, the little helipad as well, which I remember to use the undying totem for. But look at this. That looks so much better with the four separate beacons. Now that we've got the helipad there, it's got the big E on top. We've got our ender dragon as well. This is looking awesome. Our world is really coming together and I really want to focus on in the next few episodes. Just making it look even better. So guys, I think that's all I'm going to have to fit in for today. Thank you so much for watching. We did uh, a decent amount today, but I want to work on making my world just look that even bit better. I need to sort out that farm at the back because this guy ain't doing his job properly. That's right. I'm looking at you from up here. He has no idea what's coming to him. I might even have to, might have to put him in jail. He served me incorrectly. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. We learned how to fly. We did it. And now we can go far and beyond trying to find different things. We can find more sand temples, you know, desert temples. We can try and find a mushroom biome. Oh my goodness, there's so much we could do. We're going to buzz light here it. To infinity. And beyond! If you enjoyed this video and feel like sticking around to catch up with more of the series and videos that I upload almost every single day, then please do hit that subscribe button just below the video. The big red one, you know which one to hit. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Posters, tie swing, wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.